Good day, good Thursday. How is everyone? Okay. It is um, Thursday, February, uh, February, April 18th, 2024. April 18th. Wow, time flies. So um, we're going to continue with St. Uh, John of the Cross, the dark night of the soul. Very, very good stuff today about the the problem of, um, I think he uses the word voluptuousness, okay, which um, uh, during this dark night uh, and this introduction of the graces from uh, above and these um, soulful delights, um, you'll see how he talks about the, the body reacting. Um, and it's the body, the flesh that... Uh, is something that needs to be purgated or purged. So, um, hope you can hear me okay. Good day, CW, Maria, CJ, Sister Jeannie, um, Mike and family, everybody who's listening, Kyle, um, new subscribers, uh, Dale, uh, welcome. And, uh, of course, uh, Orestes, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Some of, some of the Spanish words I can get good, or Latino, some I cannot. <laughs> um, I, 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 I watched another video um, about the uh, whole plan, and it's, it's really, really important for us to avoid their plan. And, um, you know, we have children who, who understand that the damages that are being done to the body. Um, what a lot of them don't understand is the damage that's being done to the soul. So it's important to uh, kind of like share these these videos and then and then which usually only discuss the body because even you know even a non soulful person can understand why you would want to preserve the body. Um, but we want to also uh, get into those discussions about the soul. And, um, you know, you can do that because you can really ask, well, what are these people really after? Do they just want to kill the body or do they want to harvest the soul? Okay, so that's what we have to uh, get in these discussions with our family. And uh, be careful not to preach and you know, and, and just ask questions, okay? Because um, will work in them with the uh, quandaries and through the conscien conscious, conscience, conscience, conscience. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll try and remember to post that um and of course, it's a bit shoot video, so you know those are heavily censored. I think I can do it over on uh, on the website ourladiesgod.com, um, and it's pretty short. It's not too long, and it's pretty succinct. So, in any case, let's get started uh, with this lesson uh, about uh, learning what affects voluptuousness has on the being during the dark night of the soul. And forgive me for stumbling sometimes because um, I am changing, because um, we don't use, don't like the word spirit um, for, uh, it has a dual meaning in the world. And so we have to be careful and we want to try and clarify that. And again, those chicks and ducks are squeaking away like crazy. Okay, so today is of other imperfections usual to beginners in respect to the, of the third vice, which is, um, now I'm going to use the word spiritual because it is a negative. This is a, it's called, which is spiritual voluptuousness. Okay, so we assert that spirit is um, uh, more, more demonic. 
Other imperfections there are, besides those I here set forth under each vice, which beset many of these beginners, whereon to avoid being prolix, I do not touch, limiting myself to some of the most conspicuous, which are, as it were, the origin and the cause of the rest. And in respect of the sin of lasciviousness, setting aside what it is to fall into this sin, since my intent is to deal with the imperfections which must be purged by the dark night, certain of these beginners contract imperfections which might be called spiritual lewdness, not because it is so, but that when the soul receives soulful delights, the body at times feels and experiences the same by reason of its weakness. For it often happens that even in the midst of soulful exercises, and at times even when the soul is deep in prayer or engaged in the sacraments of penance and the Eucharist, Spontaneous notions and impulses of an unclean nature, impossible to check, are stirred up and impress themselves on the sensual part. The which, as I say, it being impossible to prevent, proceeds from one of three things. The first sometimes proceeds, although not often and, in, and only in weak constitutions, from the delight the body hath in soulful things. For as the soul and senses feel this delight, so doth each part of the physical man leap up to share in the same gratification, as far as its capacity and particular quality allow of. Okay, that one's something to think about. For then the soul, which is the higher part, is moved to the refreshment and relish of the Trinitarian Theophany. And the sense, which makes up the inferior part, is moved to sensible relish and delight, as it cannot take nor feel any other. And thus it happens that the soul is in prayer with the Trinitarian Theophany as to the soul. And on the other hand, in so far as it concerns the sense, she, not without her own deep disgust, passively experiences sensual rebellions and motions. For as in short, these two parts form one whole, both as a rule share in what either of them receives, each after its fashion. For, as says the philosopher, whatever thing is received is received according to the nature of the recipient. And so in these preliminary stages, and even when the soul is in a more advanced state, as the sensual part is imperfect, it takes advantage of the opportunity furnished to it by the soulful delights of the soul to indulge its own peculiar delights with the imperfection that belongs to it. I hope you can follow that. But when this sensitive part is at length reformed by the purgation of the dark night, we are still to speak of the, the, soul, in, the soul ceases to have these weaknesses. For so abundantly doth she re receive the divine soul that rather doth it seem that it is she herself that is received into this soul. In short, as into the greater and so preponderantly great, and so she experiences with all these things after the fashion of the soul wherein she shares, united with the Trinitarian Theophany in a marvelous way. The second cause whence at times these rebellions proceed is the devil, who to disquieten and perturb the soul at such season as she is in prayer, or desirous of obtaining it, does his best to provoke these unclean movements of the body, so that if the soul takes any notice thereof, it causes her grave hurt. For not only through dread thereof, 
so that she may set to work to struggle against them, does the soul relax in prayer, which is what he, the devil, is after. But some even abandon it for good, since it seems to them that in this exercise they are more exposed to such things than out of it, as is the truth. For the devil tempts them more in this respect than any other, for the express purpose of making them abandon spiritual exercises. Nor is this all, but the devil succeeds in conjuring up before them to the life most hideous and loathsome objects, and at times in the closest connection with such spirit, soulful, no, spiritual things and people as do their souls most good in order to terrify and bring them to utter destruction, so that they who take notice thereof dare not even to gaze or fix their attention on anything, lest immediately they stumble up against this or the other obstruction. Particularly doth this, doth this apply to those of a melancholy turn of mind, who are thereby so profoundly and violently affected that they are deeply to be pitied. But if melancholy itself be the cause and is at the bottom of these things, such people as, as a rule do not get rid of them until they recover from this quality of humor, unless indeed the dark night enters into the soul, which will gradually purify her entirely. The third cause, whence these lascivious motions are wont to proceed and wage war, is usually the terror such people have conceived of these impure thoughts and images. For the horror of the sudden memory thereof flashing across their sight, or discourse, or thoughts, causes them to suffer these motions without any fault of their own. Sometimes these spiritual or soulful people, when speaking of or performing soulful devotions, are seized with a certain sort of exultation and wildness of spirits caused by some reminiscence of the people nearest to them, whose intimacy they affect with a certain sort of frivolous relish, the which likewise springs from spiritual concupiscence, as we use the expression here, and sometimes excites in the will a pleasurable sensation. Some acquire a liking to certain people in a soulful way, which often springs from lust and not from the soul, which is evident when, with this memory of this affection, the memory and love of God, the Trinitarian Theophany, instead of increasing, produces only remorse of conscience. For when love is purely soulful, as it waxes stronger, so also doth that of the Trinitarian Theophany. And the more we dwell on it in our memory, so much the more do we cherish that of the Trinitarian Theophany. And the more it makes us long for the Trinitarian Theophany, the growth of the one keeping pace with the growth of the other. For the soul of God hath this quality, that good increaseth good inasmuch as there is likeness and conformity betwixt them. But when such love is born of sensual appetite, it works contrary effects. For the stronger the one grows, so doth the other grow less, and the memory at the same time. For if this love increases, it will be instantly seen that we are waxing cold in that of the Trinitarian Theophany, and forgetting the Trinitarian Theophany for the sake of this memory although not without some remorse of conscience. And conversely, if the love of the Trinitarian Theophany increases in the soul, she waxes colder towards the other and forgets it. For as these loves are contrary one to the other, not only does the one not help the other, but rather the predominant affection quenches and destroys it, and gathers fresh strength as they as the philosophers say. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of the soul 
his soul. That is, the love that is born of sensuality ends in sensuality, and that which is born of the soul ends in the soul of God. And God, the Trinitarian Theophany, increases it a thousandfold. And this is the difference between these two loves, whereby they may be recognized. When the soul enters into the dark night, she puts all these variant loves in order, for she strengthens and purifies the one which is of the Trinitarian Theophany, and the other she abandons, or exterminates, or mortifies, and at first she loses sight of both, as will soon be told. Okay, so that is um, something um, you should experience. I can say that I have experienced that, especially during um, a Catholic contemplation, when you, when you start to um, receive the graces from that, um, you will have the body react in a similar fashion. Um, but through perseverance and persistence and the dark night, um, that you can be assured will wane if you have the, uh, the pure intentions. All right, let's begin Mass, and I, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me about that. I'll help as best I can. Vobiscum, coque apote. Oremus. O Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired. Who liveth and reigneth with thee, one God forever and ever. Sushipe de impatrum spiritum sanctum hankamakalatum hostium. Quam ego in linius famulos tuus offeri tibi deum eum vivum et verum. Pro inum et ibidibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentis meis. E promnibus circumstantibus, sere promnibus fedelibus, catalocorum vivi sacre defunctis, ut mihi et idis proficiat ad salutem. Deum qui humane substantia dignitatum medi bidi tu condidisi et medi bidus reformarsi da nobis bidi hus acore vimistium, eis divinitatis esse consortis qui minitatis nostrae, fia di did not desis patrice abstainis in Christum filium, qui te conviviat ad reinat in unitati deum, patrum spiritum sanctum. Offerimus tibi deum calicem sanitaris tuum da pacantis clementium, Ute que sveto divina maestatis tuve pro nostra, totius mundi salute, cum adori suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humiditatis et in animo contritu, sushupi amarote de miesum Christum, et sec fiet sacrificium nostrum eca sveto tu horie, u placia, tibi dea matronam nostra et in patrum spiritum sanctum. Bene santificator. Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, et sanctificita plata prosequendo, et recipere, hoc sacrificium tuo sancto nomini preparatum. Suscipe Santa Trinita, sanco blationum, quam tibi afferimus, amo mora in passionis, resurrectionis, et ascensionis, de miesum Christum. Et en honorem Deum Matronam Nostri, et Papa Peter Sanctorum, et istorum et omnium sanctorum. Ut idis proficiat ad honorem nobis autam ad salutem, et idi pro nobis intercedere de intercedis, quorum amore magimus interis per inum Christum Deum nostrum. 
orate ut me me questum sacrificium acceptava le fiera per tempo patrum spiritum sanctum Sucibia de mi esum Christum, sacrificium de manibus tu iser laudam eglonium, non is sui ad digitatum coque nostrum tertiusque ecclusi sui sangue. Deum vobiscum, coque apote, surusum corda habemus a Deum. Gracias agamas Deum nostrum, nini vetiustum est. Ti dico che non ti ho detto 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 che et regere dineris tolu videra roma quae catorike. Memento deum famorum famorum catorum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Katie Gage, Maria Josephina Mose, Mark Jr., Henry Barber, and Benedict Santa Croce, Casey, Mr. Nobody, Anne Bultink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Maria and the Line Weber family, John Cahill, the Dosco, Nari, Tafor, Vegan, and Wolf families, and Claret, and Baby Vegan. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first state of the Catholic Catholic Council Office at Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all the governmental allowance for sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, and medium of exchange with no usury. We pray for an end to uh, governmental involvement in uh, health and to monitor uh, pharmacology as it is the work of the demonic. We ask for a reversal of the feminist ideology and a return to godly femininity And again, courageous men to step forward and create this Catholic monarchy. We ask Dea Matronam Nostra Dei Miesum Christum et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum with this Mass to destroy the Satanic document of Vatican law that is the Jewish Talmud. We also ask to save and transfer the souls from under the dominion of any Jew or Freemason that gives support to Israel and makes them to f fall to the worst part of hell with no chance to ever escape. We ask that all plans that have been devised or are being devised for the purpose of creating weapons that are injected into people are destroyed and come to naught, that these plans uh, fall apart and are exposed, and that people come to realize the, the technology that Satan is using um, and convincing people to, to adhere to through fear. All these things we ask in accordance with God's holy and divine will. Et omnium circumstantium, quorum tibi fides cognit est et nato devotio, proquibus tibi efferimus, vero qui tibi protoc sacra vicium laudis, prosis vis quemnibus, pro redemptione in amarum suarum, pro spe salutis et inculamitatis sue, tibi cur redont vota sua aterno deum vivo et vero. Comarcantes et momono venerantes in primis gloriose semper dei matron nostre, et de Deum Iesum Christum, et de Beatorum Matidium Torum Papa Sancti Petri, et Sancti Luci, et Sancti Jacinta, et Sancti Francisco, et Sancti Juan Diego, et Omnium Sanctorum Torum Corum Editis, Praetibus que concede sot in omnibus. Protex eudes, tuae munia mer exilio, per in nomen Christum Deum Nostrum. Quam oblationo de Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in omnibus, consecratum acceptabilum que fece de dineri sot nobis corpum, et sanguim fia delictissimi filium tuum Deum Iesum Christum. Qui pridi equam patrita recepit upon a men sancta sacrabilis manus suas. 
Et elevati sau cu Cristin cele mai multe de întoarce în Sfântul Dumnezeu, în funcție de mondul, pe tăția de grație sau genul consecrat. Frege de dicul el lumii sui de genul sau ce pe tăția de mândru ca de exocomies. Hoc eist eini corpus meum. Singur în modul post-concermonie să ci prin zărâng preclară în care ce mențăm că s-ar până lui Smanul Sfânt, suntem tibii grasii să agenți de împărți în Spiritul Sanctum. Contra croabe de ligui, lumii se uidice în zăci pite et vipite exe omnes. Hic est eini calic sanguris mei, misterii fidei, pe pronopii se promopii se fondator în remisiunea dacătorum. Ei cotesc cum vive ce etis mei mă încă ce etis. Unde et memoris Deum nostru virtui se replebs Tua, Sancto Iustum Christum Fidium Tuum Deum nostri, tam beate pensionis nec non, et e ben feris resicționis. Sedet in celos gloriosi ascensionis a ferimus preclare maestatitudi tu istoni sacratis, supra quae propizio oxa renovutur especieri dineris. Suplicis eragamos Deum pacem spiritum Sanctum, iube hec petere pe manus Tuum, ut cot cot, ex apataris participationis acro Santum Deum Fidium Tuum, Corpus et sanctum sim sinimus, omni benedicione celes e gratia de pe amor, pe din un cosmitem nostru. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for Ron O'Brien, for whom this mass is being offered. Ipsis te emet omnibum in Christum crescentibum, locum refugiere i lucis e pacis, utant o geste pra camar pe Deum crescum Deum nostrum. Per quem hec omnia Deum Iesum Christum semper bono creas, santificas, vivificas, consecratis e prestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso. Esti bidea matrum omne petenti in unitate de impartum spiritum sanctum. Omnis honor et gloria. Ave dea matronam nostre gratia plena de impartum spiritum sanctum tecum. Deia matronam nostri matronam deum Iesum Christum misericordia nobis, peccatoribus nunc et honorum mortis nostre. Libera nos quae sumus deum patrum spiritum sanctum, abonibus malis, preteritis presentibus et futuris. Et intercedente beate gloriosa, semper deia matronam nostre, cum papa petrum sanctorum et omnibus sanctis, ta propitius pace mentibus nostris. Utopi misericordie tue aduite te pacato, simus semper libere et amonui petebationi securi. Peri in nom Deum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Fidium tuum Deum nostrum. Qui te givive dat renat in unitate Deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Per aeternam. Pax Deum Iesum Christum sed semper vobiscum, coco e pate. Ecum extio consecratio copris sed sanguinis Deum Iesum Christum fiat e cipendi bos nobis in ad salute maternam. Pax Deum e coco e pate. Deum Iesum Christum, cui ex voluntate Deum Matronam Nostrae, cooperante Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Per mortem Tuum unum vivificasti, libera mei per hoc socro santum corpus et sanguinum Tuum abonibus in libertatibus meis. Et universis malis, et pacem ei Tui semper in hararemandatis. 
et ati numquam separai permitas, qui cum eodem deum maturam nostri et deum patrum spiritum sanctum vivi sabrina maternam. Decepto copris tui deum Iisum Christum, quod ego in dinius sum repressimo non mihi proveniet in edicimo condonationem. Se pro tu pietate prosit mihi et de mende medisio copris, et ad mediatum percipiendum, qui vivi sabrinas cum deum maturam nostri in unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Panam celestem et cipiem, et nome deum Iisum Christum invocabo. Deum matronam nostri non sum dinius, utet isotetum eis in tanta verba saparana la mea. Deum eisum Christum non sum dinius, utet isotetum eis in tanta verba saparana la mea. Deum patrum spiritum sancto non sum dinius, utet isotetum eis in tanta verba saparana la mea. Corpus. Deum nostrum eisum Christum custodiet anama mea. Quid retribuam Deum Iesum Christum pro omnibus gratitud mihi, calicem sae paris et cipiem et nomen Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in vocabo. Laudans in vocabo Deum Matronam nostri et ab inimicis mei salvo servo. Sanguis Deum nostrum Iesum Christum custodiet anama mea. Quod orisum sumus deum Iesum Christum Pini Pente Capriam e Seti Munini Temperae Fii Nobis Remedium Semper Ternam. Sum Deum Iesum Christum, quod som sit sanguis quam patae vehebus shelbus mei se presta, ut in me non remeniat shelor mei cla quam pirat sancte rode cielo sacramenta. Deum pubiscum, equo quepo te, oremus. May the prayer of the suppliant's prophet, the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins, and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one God, forever and ever. Deum pubiscum, equo quepo te, iti miseis, deum gratia. Flacia tibi sancta trinitam, absequim servitutis me, e prisa ut sacrificium. Coroculis tui maestatis in unus autoritibis acertata premi quiet omnibus. 
Procure do Ciro Doutor pela licença de emissão na tempo para saber do coração de Deus nosso. Santificado por São da Potência de Deus, Matronam et Filium et Spiritum Sanctum. Deus Matronam nosso é de emissão Cristo e de emparto no Espiritum Sanctum. Graças. Trinitarian Theophany, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee pardon for those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Deum Matronam Nostre, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Deum Iesum Christum, present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, and the immaculate heart of Dea Matronam Nostre, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dea Matronam Nostre, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. Again, thank you for um, being here and for your donations. Um, especially those who donate like they do when they go to church every, every month or something, they put an automatic uh, amount in um, or, do, or, or donate regularly. That really, really helps. Um, and that is one of the commandments of the, of the church uh, to support um, your, uh, your pastor. <laughs> so if, um, if you appreciate what I do here, and uh, if you can help, that would be great. Uh, I'm trying to look for a more permanent uh, situation for the winter uh, instead of in tents and in campers. Um, so please pray for me for that um, uh, somewhere in the, in the south. I honestly don't care where. <laughs> and uh, then, uh, and again, thank you very much for every, all that you are doing. Um, I'm also going to ask for priests. Okay, I need, I need to ordain uh, a holy priest, and um, so if we can get together and um, you pass the test, <laughs> if you will, um, you have that conviction and that humility. Humility is the big one. Um, even I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at that. Ask my family, uh, but. Um, Good day, Orestes. How are you? Um, so, yes, I'll stop umming and say, please come forward and, and contact me. Uh, uh, if you feel the Trinitarian Theophany is calling you. All right, please go and sanctify all those who you meet. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday. It's going to be a... I, I feel much better now, so it's going to be a TDIF.